Hello and welcome back to the Fish Locker Workshop. I have just purchased a new trailer for the boat. Now, when I bought the boat second hand, it came with a trailer that was already configured for it. That trailer is now around about 12 years old, so I've upgraded. This is an SPS 1600. If you're buying a boat on a trailer, generally the trailer will be configured for the boat already. Because this is a new trailer for my boat, I'm going to have to configure it so that my, my boat fits on it right. I'm just walking you down, it's got got your jockey wheel that comes up and down, your lock, your safety line, power for your light board at the back. The only thing that is not standard on here is I've fitted my own sand wheel on it. Because when you're working on sand, on soft sand, the narrow jockey wheel can sink into the sand. I've got a larger sand wheel. I'm expecting that at some point in time I'm going to have to move where this is, where that is, and possibly where this cradle is here because this does swing so the first thing that I've got to do is I've got to get the boat on it and see how the boat sits because your balance of your boat the main of the weight needs to be sat over the axle so this trailer if my boat comes too far forward there's too much weight on the front of the trailer so I need to move it back None of it is an exact science because all trailers and all boats are different. All boats are weighted different as well, depending, depending on what your engine size is, depending on what you've got on the boat. So yeah, I'm not going to be able to show you exact. I'm not going to be able to tell you exactly what I'm going to do until I get the boat on there. <laughs> I will say, I know that the tide's ebbing off. The tide's going out. So I can afford to do this. If you're on a spring tide and the tide's coming in, you do that, you run a risk of getting swamped. As I'm doing this, as I'm doing this, I'm making sure all of those wheels are sat like that. Because if any of them cock over, either way, they'll stick straight into the side of the hull. And also, as I'm winding this onto here, I'm making sure that I hold it. So it fits straight because if it, it rolls over and rides up you'll damage that and it won't go on right. right. <laughs> That's the first mistake I've made there is that shouldn't have been going through the middle of there. This needs to come up. So this part here one of the modifications I'm gonna have to make is I'm gonna have to loosen this off and slide this up because if you notice there it's going to be pulling it at an angle up against this. So I'm going to have to slacken it off, drop it back, put that on top of there, and then do it again. Now you can see the angle, know what I mean now, now can you? Yeah. In fact, what I might do, see if I slacken it up all the way. So that, because of the angle that it was at, I'm going to have to move that up so it pulls it in directly. That line goes through there. This here is my safety line. So if this backs off at all, if that fails, it's only going to slide that far, not all the way off the trailer. 
Now it's sat a little bit off there, I can see straight away. So yeah, we are going to have to move stuff around. We're sat on all of those, but we're off on that one. And we're ever so slightly off on these two, look. Also, they're out the back. So by moving the front, moving that front part back, it is going to help that a little bit. But I'm going to move these forward up to that light to give me an extra inch or so. And also, by moving this up, it's going to bring the nose up, which eventually is going to bring the back down. All I'm doing now is I'm having a look right, on the flat, because I was on the slipway before. And yeah, we're right at that angle there. This is going to need to come up so that this goes through. I don't know how we're going to sit on that, but definitely because it's all the weight is sitting on these ones and it's way off on the back because we've got, hopefully coming up at the front, bring it down at the back. Take these bolts out, put them in there. So yeah, there's a bit to do. This is one of those situations where <laughs> I was like, oh no, I've got a tape measure on the boat. No, I don't. If I'd had some common sense, what I would have done was I would have brought a tape measure with me and I would have measured how far out those wheels are sticking. Because I want, I want this wheel to be roughly where that one is. So I'm gonna have to move, moving this forward a couple of inches will help it but also I'm hoping that by bringing this back so that this one is there and that one is roughly there will bring the boat back to sit on the trailer Right, I have moved that back from there to there. I have extended this from there to there. So now hopefully this winch will pull at a straighter angle by moving that back and by moving this forward from here to there and that up one. We should, <laughs> we should be all right. I imagine that what's going to happen now is that the finer bit of tuning might be because I've extended that post up it might have brought it a little bit further forward so I'm going to put the boat back on it now I want to see how it balances but I'm, I'm expecting that potentially I might have to move that forward pillar back a couple of inches let's go and find out it's never right first time we're back on <laughs> we're back on the trailer it's almost right I'll show you we are sat well on there. We are now sat well on all of those. We're not hanging off the back. Those, all those line up perfectly on there. Those line up perfectly on there. The only issue, the only problem we've got apart from Apart from this being sat like high and dry, what I'm going to have to do, I think, is I'm going to have to get a longer one of those, just so it goes to about there, because it, it's, it's not always going to sit on that, because when it comes up the trailer, it sits onto that one. Yeah. What I'm going to have to do is because, because I didn't get the height of this quite right, because when I extended it, it's just not high enough. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to loosen this, loosen that, and slide this out maybe another two inches just so that that, that D-ring there is in the center of here. Because at the moment, see, it's still not pulling straight, is it? And it wants to be pulling straight like that. 
So yeah, another couple of inches. Almost ready for some road trips. Yeah, because I extended that up one, it brought these up. I mean, that's they've got a little bit of space there, but it's sat on the back ones. It's sat on them in there. Yeah, well, I'm happy with that. Run it back off, extend that by a couple of inches, and we're ready to go. <laughs> there we go. The D ring fits through the middle of there. That is almost straight. We're, we're on a slope, but yeah, it's almost straight. It's sat up against there, sat up against there. It's nice and stable. Sat on all four of them nice. Sat on all four of them nice. This would be the point in time where if I had a, a ratchet strap, I'd twang the strap and say, I ain't going anywhere. Yeah. There we are. The, the only other way that you could have really done it is if you didn't want to put the boat in and out and in and out, is I would have got some boards and maybe used like a bottle jack or a trolley jack or something and jacked the boat up, moved the trailer around. But yeah. You came with me for the journey. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, the, uh, the trailer that I had before was a 1500. Man's a warrior 170, man's a 17 foot warrior and it's got an 80 on the back. So yeah, if you've got a 175 or anything slightly larger, you're going to be wanting a 1600. If you've got like a warrior 150, you're probably better off with a 1500. What I'll do is I'll, I'll tag some links for the SPS website into the description of the video. The best thing you can do is speak to them guys like I did. Because I spoke to them and I said, well this is the size of boat I've got. Now the trailer that I had before, it was the biggest boat I could get on the smaller trailer. Now I'm on the smaller end of the boat on a bigger trailer. So yeah, it took a little bit of finagling. But we got there in the end. See you later. <laughs>